Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited. <laughs> I am unboxing a liar that I found on Amazon um, and I have never seen something made like it before. Um, it is just a diatonic liar but it's really gorgeous. <laughs> um, so let's open it up so you can see. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I cannot wait to show you this liar. It's seriously just one of the most gorgeous instruments that I have ever seen. <laughs> so hopefully it lives up to the hype. It's a cute little case, I like this. So. gosh isn't that just beautiful oh my goodness so <laughs> and this is a feature of many many liars especially the ones that come out of China um, but it's very like you do your the bass notes with your right hand um, which is very different for me as a harp player but uh, for this one I'm just gonna have to get used to it because these upper strings are just unreachable by the right hand <laughs> um, but I do love this um, the holes they have going on here because I feel like that's gonna make it way easier to balance the lyre which I feel like is often a problem um, finding just the right way to hold it so that it balances well so <laughs> plus it's gorgeous <laughs> Um, it's really out of tune right now, so I'm going to have to tune it up, but gosh, isn't that just beautiful? <laughs> okay, so also in the box, um, I found a couple of picks, um, which I have said before, it's not at all a Western harp technique, but it is actually a technique used by um, Chinese harpists, so those picks do have <laughs> a purpose. It's very much like a, um, almost like a vibrato. I'll show you a really terrible example because of course I am not practiced in this technique at all but it's sort of like um it's like a super quick back and forth motion um so you can hear that kind of <laughs> um, and let's see what other let's see I don't see any other accessories uh, oh here we go <laughs> in this little pocket we've got um, replacement strings um, and these are all wires because this is a wire strung liar um, you could certainly put nylon on it if you wanted to um, it's definitely easier to go from wire to nylon than to go the other way <laughs> um, and then a little um, I wouldn't say instruction booklet so much um, but it's got some songs in um, the Chinese number notation um, which can be a little tricky to figure out um, if you're starting on something like the lyre instead of a tongue drum where you have numbers on it. <laughs> um, but it's definitely doable. And then also in the box, um, got the little tuning wrench. So I'm going to get this tuned up <laughs> and I'm going to play around with it for a little bit and then I will let you know what I think. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and play around on this for a little bit for you so you can sort of get an idea of how this sounds. Um, it is interesting in that it does have a hollow sound chamber on the bottom half, um, but this upper half is solid, so it's kind of an interesting design I haven't seen before. So. It does have a very clear sound compared to some of the other lyres I've tried. And I wonder if that's because there's kind of less body behind of some of the strings and um, a little bit more resonation able to happen in the upper register, uh, which really kind of even outs the, evens out the volume of the lyre. Oh, 
a lot of lyres because of the thicker, bigger strings down here will be louder down here than they are up top. But I think that sound chamber really does even things out. Obviously, one of my favorite things about this lyre um, is the design. It's absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> I am a big moon person, um, and the really pretty lady over here and the little clouds, like it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous design. Um, but aside from that, I think it has some real pros um, that are sort of different from other lyres. Um, one thing that I did want to show you especially was sort of the difference in low strings. Um, for instance, on this lyre, um, it's really hard for me to reach the low strings with my right hand. I have to kind of get past the sound post first. Um, but with this lyre, <laughs> that's not an issue at all. It's super easy to reach those low strings with your right hand. Um, now that seems counterintuitive to a lot of harp players who are used to playing the high strings up here with their right hand. Um, but honestly, most lyres seem to be designed that way um, to play kind of your accompaniment down here and your melody up here, which can be, again, confusing for us harpists, but <laughs> it does seem like that is how the instrument is intended to be played. So um, given its intention, <laughs> um, I think it does have the right design for that. I also wanted to point out this neat little feature. Um, there's a little groove down here in the bottom of this lyre, um, and I actually think that that is one of the best features. Um, this makes it possible, um, if you were to find maybe like the right size dowel um, to fit into that little thing, then you could sit the dowel across your knees, um, sort of like the way a harp stick works, um, and then it would be really easy to just rest your lyre there on that dowel and it would be able to sit in between your legs without there being any kind of issue um, which is pretty cool that's uh, the principle of the harp stick basically <laughs> and it's something that um, lab harps have made use of for a long time so i think it's kind of a really cool idea um, to make that on a lyre because um, lyres can be even more difficult to keep steady and to hold on to than lap harps. So there you have it. That is my review of this absolutely gorgeous Moon Lyre. Um, if you'd like to pick one up for yourself, they can be found on Amazon, and I will put a link in the description below so you can grab one for yourself. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. If you have any questions, please do ask me down in the comments because I'm always happy to answer you guys. <laughs> Thank you all so much for supporting this channel, and I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day. Thank you all so much for watching. If you would like to subscribe to my channel, go ahead and click on that subscription button right up there. Otherwise, if you would like to join my Patreon or buy me a coffee, the links to those are down in the description. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day.